Hello everybody, this is Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I am coming on to try and do a requested video. Linda and other people have asked, how do you use the digital stamps that you can purchase from Peachy Keen Stamps? So the digital face stamps. Um, here's a sample right here of some face stamps that I've loaded onto a um, 110 pound piece of cardstock and I printed them four to a page using Word for Windows. And I'm gonna show you how I did that because there are people that don't know how to do it. So when you purchase the files, you're going to get a download. And I think everybody should know how to download. You click on the download button and uh, you're gonna download the files to your computer. Then you have to save them to some place where you can go back and look at them. So I saved mine into a Peachy Keen Digital Files. Um, I made a little folder called Peachy Keen Digital Files. And I want you to ignore some of what you see in here because some of this is related to designing stamps. Um, but you can see down here at the bottom, I have some, some of the faces loaded. Okay, so you're gonna load your faces and then you wanna open up your Word for Windows document. And here's that. And you're going to come up here to the top corner. This is where my mouse is, follow my mouse up here. And there is a little button that allows you to shrink the screen. And then once the screen is shrunk, um, you can drag it around to where you want it. Um, and really what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to see the faces. So you're going to size your screen, drag it and size it so that you can see your open blank document as well as the faces. And then what you're going to do is pick the face that you want and you're going to drag it into your document. So. Let's just take one of the singing faces right here. This one's cute. And you're just gonna drag it over and it's gonna go into your document, okay? And then once you have the face in your document, if you click on it, you can size the face. Now this can take some trial and error, but if you have a dot, <clears throat> the die that you wanna use, for example, and let me just, let me really quick here, I'm gonna show you the die that I'm using today. Um, sorry, I bumped the camera, you guys. I am using this die set because it's available right now. So if you don't have this, you could go to Tailored Expressions and you can get this die set. It's called the Build a Gingerbread die set. And there's also one called Gingerbread Attire. Okay. And it makes a gingerbread like this. And I wish I had a ruler right in front of me. This is about a four inch gingerbread, if I remember correctly. Okay, so here's the die that I cut that gingerbread with, okay? So for the purposes of using a digital product, you're going to size the face to be the size that you want it for your gingerbread, okay? And so it helps to know what size face you think you might need. So measure across the face um, of your die, so the head portion of the die, and see kind of what size you need, and then go when you're working in here, you can size it down to approximately the size that you think you're gonna need. Now, will this take some trial and error? Possibly. You might wanna just print it on copy paper first and make sure that the size that you make it is appropriate, okay? There are inch sizes up here on I'm back up here now. I hope you guys can see this. But there is an inch bar along the top of your document that you can kind of tell how big you're making something. Um, if I was more technically savvy, and I should say this right off, um, I am a stamper. I am not someone who uses SVGs or um, does a lot of uh, you know design space stuff. So. Silhouette, for example, has a design studio that you can use. Um, there are lots of prod products on the market um, uh, that people use when they're 
designing a project online. I am not that person. I'm a stamper. I'm just trying to help those of you that would like to be able to use some of the digital faces. I'm trying to give you a way to, to use them for your gingerbreads. Um, that was the request that I received. And so um, if, if you are more technical sav technically savvy and there are lots of you out there, you would be a much better person to do this video than me. Um, but for those of you that are, were asking, I wanted to try and at least help you do it. So what you're going to do then is size this, size this to the size that you think you need for the particular uh, gingerbread that you're going to cut out. So if you were using a smaller gingerbread, obviously you would size the face much smaller. Okay, but just for the purposes of um, demonstrating, I'm showing you how I did it. So um, if you print it out on copy paper and you put the gingerbread over it and it looks too big, you can size it down and try again. But um, like I said, if you measure your gingerbread and you kind of know approximately what size you need, you can use the measurements on the document that's here um, to kind of guesstimate where you need to be and size it correctly. Okay, so there's one. And what you can do then is just right click and hit copy. And then you can come over in your document, tab over till you're halfway. And, and then you can paste another one. Okay. And that way you have two to a page and you can do the same thing. You can tab down here and uh, you can also paste it further down. Okay, so you'll go to your paste button. And it, so anyway, eventually what you'll end up with is a document that has all four faces on it. Okay, and then when, once you have them in the right location and everything, when you print it out, you're going to be able to cut all four gingers, okay, from the document. Okay, so that is the nuts and bolts of how you do it. Um, I did it on white paper today just so that it's easier to see on camera. Um, I tried it with the craft and it was just a little bit too dark on camera. I'm filming this in my basement on my computer and it's hard to do things and have it show up well. But, um, uh, you know, that's basically how you do it. You're, you're just, you know, using your cursor um, to move over far enough to put your next one in. And I usually move over to around the four and a quarter um, inch marker uh, so that I can get all four on the page, okay? But again, trial and error, use copy paper the first couple times you print to make sure you have your um, faces in the right spot so that you can die cut with your die. So um, just print it out on copy paper first and make sure you have everything lined up right. Then what you're going to do at the end is you're going to save this document because Anytime you want to cut gingerbreads out in the future, you can just go and print this document. You can print it onto craft cardstock, okay? And then once it's printed out, you cut it into four and then run the die, tape the die over the face in the right spot, okay? So you're going to, you would actually cut this in four and tape this in place, run it in through your die cut machine. And if you've printed it on craft cardstock, um, I'll show you one that's finished. Uh, it will come out like this, okay? So you'll die cut it out of the paper and then you'll have it all ready to go so that you can decorate this. You can also ink this to make it more of a gingery color. You can then add your white um, uh, highlights to your eyes and do all your decorating of the gingerbread. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, again, the die set that I'm using today is a tailored expressions die, but whatever die you choose to use, you would just size it for that particular face that you need for that particular die cut. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys out. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments area of this video, and I will try and answer them. Um, just remember that I, I am not... <laughs> a hugely technical savvy person. Kathy and I from Peachy Keen were talking yesterday and um, she did give me some video links on how to um, remove a face from an existing SVG <clears throat> in order to put a Peachy Keen face in, as well as some other videos. And if you go to her Facebook page, those videos are within her 
uh, Facebook page. But I'm going to put some links down below of some of the videos that she shared with me if I'm able to do that. And uh, But there's definitely, if you search Peachy Keen Stamps um, on YouTube, there are definitely people that have done a lot of videos using her faces. So you might be able to find a much better tutorial person than myself. <laughs> so I just want to put that out there. But this is the nuts and bolts of how to do it very, very simply um, using the faces that you might, any face that you might want to purchase. And then um, it just gives you some options. Uh, if you don't have the stamps for whatever reason or the stamp that you want, you might be able to purchase it di digitally and then print it onto the whatever project you're making, whether it's a little baby you're doing or a gingerbread or a snowman or whatever you're doing. Um, it allows you s some options on how to do that with maybe a stamp that you don't have um, that you were able to purchase digitally but not f um, the physical stamp set. So... All right, everybody, um, a big thank you to Kathy of Peachy Keen uh, for coming out of retirement, for putting uh, digital products up on her website for all of the people that do use uh, SVGs and were asking for them, and um, also for people that maybe just weren't, didn't have opportunities to get the physical product. But I wanted to remind you that the physical stamps are available on her website now, and we are doing a release on Saturday of some new products. So I will be putting a video up on Saturday to share um, some new releases that are coming, some Jill's favorites that she let me put together um, from some of her existing products. And uh, she helped me do a whole bunch of things that um, uh, I'm excited about. So we will see you on Saturday for Saturday Morning Makes. I'll be sharing um, my Jill's favorite sets from Peachy Keen. I, again, I want to thank Kathy and Dave from Peachy Keen for coming out of retirement and helping us all enjoy their products again. And um, if, again, any questions about what I've just shown you, please feel free to ask me. Anyone that has way more experience could probably answer questions way better than I. But this is just for those of you that um, are not used to working in with a Cricut or a Silhouette or a, a, you know an electronic cutter and SVG files. This is a way to do it just using a word processing program with the faces that you can purchase in uh, Peachy Keen's, uh, at Peachy Keen's website at peachykeen.com, peachykeenstamps.com. Okay, so I will put some links down below with additional information. Bless you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. To all of you that started school this week, I hope everybody's enjoying the first week of school. All right, bye now.